Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I really wanted to share my at-home workout to get wider hips and to say goodbye to hip dips because I have hip dips, you guys, and it is not a vibe. So I am definitely trying to target that area, as you could see, where my hips sort of cave in a lot. Now I'm very happy with my overall glutes. I love how firm and lifted it is, but we've got to work on those hip dips. So I'm hoping that you dolls will enjoy this at-home workout today. It's so simple. All you're going to need is a yoga mat, and then I would definitely recommend getting yourselves a booty band kit, super inexpensive. Mine is from Amazon, so I'm gonna link it down below. These are great because they come in different levels, so use whatever you are comfortable with. I have the ultra heavy and then heavy, but I prefer to use the ultra heavy. I get the best burn, so definitely get some booty bands for your gym bag. They don't take up a lot of space and they're very affordable. So as I mentioned, we are going to be targeting the side booty right here to get rid of these hip dips. So let's get into it. Let's get started. So I'm gonna put on the ultra heavy booty band on my thigh area. Now when it comes down to reps, I definitely recommend doing what is comfortable for you. I typically stick between 10 to 15 per exercise and then I'll do it three times. So I'm gonna get down on my knees and I'm going to go into a fire hydrate. Now these are amazing with ankle weights, but if you really wanna feel the burn, I recommend using the booty bands. So you guys are gonna see this right here, how I do it. Moving into the next workout, I like to take as little rest in between as possible. I'm going to do a bridge and then an extension with a booty band, making sure that I suck in my glutes so that I really feel the burn in that area. Looks a little awkward to do in the gym, but trust me you guys, you're going to feel it so good. It's going to be the best thing that you can incorporate within your routine. Swinging it into a side position, still keeping that booty band on, I'm going to do a leg raise with a slight bend in my knee. This is something new that I've incorporated, so I'm looking forward to doing more of these because I really felt the burn after this one. So after I finish up my reps, I'm going to swap it over to the next leg. Again, looks a little weird in the gym, but you guys, it's very effective. Taking it right into the next exercise, you're going to need a chair for this one. Again, with a booty band still on the thighs, we're going to be doing some hip abduction. So, you know, if you don't have equipment, you don't have a gym, this is something that you can finesse at home and still get great results. Again, I'm using the Ultra Heavy, which honestly, I wish there were a level higher than this, but this will do. Can you tell I love my booty band? So I'm gonna be standing up for this one and we're gonna be doing some side leg raises, you guys. This is amazing, again, targeting the outer glutes. And I don't remember how many of these I do per leg, but again, do whatever you are comfortable with. All right, you guys, I'm bringing my booty band down closer to my ankles, and we're going to be doing a similar movement, an outer side kick. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to be taking it into a curtsy lunge. This is very similar to a standard lunge, except you're going to be extending your leg out instead of straight back. So of these, I think I did 12 per leg, but these are again, another one of my favorites. If you have like a block or you can do this elevated, even better. Okay, we're about to drop it down low on the mat and oh my gosh, okay, this is new to me. We are doing some fire hydrant circles. I don't really know what you want to call these, but these are awkward to do, but afterwards I really felt the burn, you guys. I had to shake it out a little bit. So I did about 20 circles per leg and afterwards, oof, it was exactly what I needed. And to finish off this workout, I'm gonna be doing some leg raises, but across over, making sure that I really go up as high as possible to target those glutes. Once you do this workout, you are going to be screaming, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be crying, but you're also going to thank me later. So I do this about three times a week within everything else that I do for my workouts, and I am very excited to say that I am noticing results already. So if you guys try this workout out, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next time.